I'm like <laughs> trying to hide my crutch in the back. So I'm back with another video. It's like a chill video. I'm just going to be breaking down my perfume collection. It is a little baby collection. I don't have like 10, 15 perfumes because honestly up until two months ago or maybe even less, I only had one perfume and I should have known better. Like the one perfume I had, I made it go with every season, every occasion. But ever since I started to purchase perfumes, I quickly learned that that is not the case. Every perfume doesn't go for every occasion or every season. So I'm going to be breaking them down from lightest to heaviest scent wise i was gonna do it based on the scent family but majority of them are floral i'm more of the floral type i don't really like vanilla or anything like that and i'll include a screenshot of each perfume here maybe but i will definitely be linking them down below so to start off my collection is my og this is the one that i had way before I started buying all these perfumes. So this is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. She's 3.4 ounce. Yeah. She's 3.4 ounces. She is the definition of floral to me. She's very light. Very, very light actually. I find myself spraying this more than the others because I find that the longevity really isn't the best. Or maybe it's me. I don't know. But she is definitely in the floral family. Let me bring up the official notes of the perfumes. Now, personally, these things do not make a difference to me because I don't understand what the notes mean, if that makes sense. Um, if it smells like flowers to me, it smells like flowers. But Sephora has it as the key notes are Damascus Rose, Peony, and White Musk. Um, I guess that's not really a bad description. I can definitely get that from this bottle. I just will say that the longevity isn't all there, but she is very, very floral. I love her. Light and floral. Now, next I have the Chanel Chance, and this is Aviv. And this one is actually not a perfume. This is eau de toilette so this is like the lighter version of a perfume um but she smells divine she is a really good spring scent i mean i feel like my nose is going to get used to all these and i'm not going to be able to smell the true scents after a while yeah so she is like i said floral she's heavier than miss dior i don't get citrus from this but it is mentioned in the sephora description um the keynotes are grapefruit blood orange jasmine and cedar iris um vibrant floral fragrance that sweeps you into a lively whirlwind of happiness um yeah she is i guess the citrus part is it's a little bit more lively than the miss dior so i i guess i can agree with the citrus thing but she is floral that's why she's here now moving on to my newest edition, it's the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. I love this perfume. So she's technically a cologne, so I'm pretty sure these are unisex. If suede had a scent, that's what that's what I imagine it smelling like, this perfume. Um, Sephora has it as the keynotes are Red Apple, Peony, and Suede. I don't really get Red Apple from it, to be honest. I just get suede like i don't even know how else to describe it because i feel like peony is a little bit softer than this so i don't really get the peony but i will say as i wear it throughout the day it does soften up so maybe that's when the peony comes in but she is lovely i feel like she's very i don't want to say sophisticated because i'm not very sophisticated but she just smells like so grown so i didn't know that these are made to be combined it says this means you can layer and mix more than one fragrance to create your your own okay so i guess i have to pick up another one but this alone is everything for real for real this next one is my favorite one this is the chloe nomad chloe nomad let me pull up the description because 
it just smells so good to me so basically my mom had this and it just it stayed on her all day like i would she would come home from work and she would smell amazing and i know perfumes smell differently on each person but what i smelled on her is what i smell in the bottle um so let's see what the description is warm floral so you know how i said Jo malone has like that suede scent so it kind of covers the floral scent this is just like a warm floral i'm really bad at describing these let me see what what sephora says um the keynotes are oak moss freesia and maribel liquor when you first spray it i feel like there's like a not an overpowering but like a strong scent mixed with a little bit of alcohol like the tiniest bit like i don't even know why i'm mentioning it but it, i feel like i smell a little bit of alcohol but then once it sets into your skin it's like so soft and it just like i don't even know it's just i love this scent like if i could wear it every day i would now next is a classic and this one i started out when it first came out i didn't like it I was like it's too sweet for me I like lighter scents and then come two months ago it grew on me and this is the Victor and Rolf flower bomb the original one she is cuz she is she's really sweet like compared to my other ones she's very sweet and I think this is the sweetest my entire collection goes She just smells so good she's really good for like a night out i feel like so when it comes to the fragrance family uh sephora considers it to be warm and spicy i agree i definitely agree she is very warm and spicy um the keynotes are jasmine orange blossom and patchouli even though it doesn't smell like roses it just smells like it doesn't smell like amber either but the warmth amber gives that's that's what i can th that's what I think of when I think of this scent so not that it smells like amber but the type of warmth that amber gives you is the type of floral this is I really hope that makes sense because that's the best it's gonna get this next one is my big girl perfume it's my grown woman perfume that is not for every occasion I think the only time I wore this was my birthday so far YSL I don't even want to butcher the name but I know it's supposed to be French Lead libre libre something like that but <laughs> um i'm gonna obviously put a picture up in in the video but she is grown like she's really grown longevity is through the roof um she's floral but there's like a hint of something in here that is different than all the other florals i have so sephora says that she's a warm floral lavender essence orange blossom and musk accord uh it combines lavender essence from france with the sensuality of moroccan orange blossom for a unique floral fusion uh musk i can definitely get that from this musk is definitely it this is like the type of scent that you wear to an important dinner to an important work occasion um your birthday it's is definitely it I love this so much but she is definitely for special occasions only I would not wear this going to work on a regular or to the supermarket or anything like that that's pretty much everything to just tie it all together I would say my everyday scent would be the Aviv by Chanel so that's it for this video it was very chill very quick um even though I made this video explaining my favorites, I feel like you don't go order these without smelling it first because I might have been off with describing some of them, to be honest, but it's okay. I probably won't be picking up another one for a while. There's only one other perfume that I want, but I just can't bring myself to spend the money on it yet, and that's the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. It smells divine, but the price... It's just not for me right now. I'll see you in the next one.